Welcome to the Meraki Dashboard and Solutions Overview 4D Training Module. My name is Joe Aronow, and in this module, I will review the Meraki Cloud Managed Solution at a high level. The focus of this module is to highlight the components that make up the Meraki solution so you can better articulate the solution to your customers. We'll look at this subject from a few different angles, but the fundamental goal is for you to come out of this module with an understanding of how the Cisco Meraki Cloud Managed Solution operates and what the core value is that that solution provides to our customers and partners. To begin, we'll wanna do some quick level setting about what the Cisco Meraki Solutions portfolio is. Since the acquisition of Meraki over five years ago, we've continued to evolve and expand our cloud managed product lines, and we've seen phenomenal growth with these platforms. While the Cisco Meraki name is still best known for wireless networking, we've also gained a lot of ground in network security, switching, endpoint management, and more recently, SD-WAN, IP telephony, and even security cameras. We've taken the same approach to all of these product lines, making them as simple as possible to deploy, configure, manage, and monitor with our centralized cloud management dashboard. Perhaps most importantly, all of these different solutions are managed and monitored in that one same interface, removing the need for customers to switch between consoles when configuring or troubleshooting the elements of their environment that are running on Cisco Meraki infrastructure. We call this cross product management approach the Meraki full stack. As the network has become more critical to everyday business operations and the number of network connected devices has grown, IT organizations have a lot to deal with. They're expected to be able to scale the architecture with the organization, resolve issues as quickly as possible to minimize business impact and work on future focused projects while they're often struggling to just find time to address end user complaints or infrastructure failures. With the Cisco Meraki centralized, ease of use focused management model, we're able to address a lot of the core operational challenges that customers are facing when managing their IT infrastructure. With true zero touch deployment, an administrator simply needs to add a Cisco Meraki device to a site by serial number. When the device is powered on and connected to an ISP connection or internet accessible network, it will automatically form an AES encrypted connection back to the Meraki cloud backend and download the latest recommended firmware as well as any configuration the administrator has put in place for that site or device in the cloud GUI. This is particularly valuable for rapidly growing organizations as it drastically reduces the amount of time and effort required to deploy new IT hardware to remote sites and removes the need to send a skilled IT technician on site as all configuration is performed centrally. Since the management controller is all in the cloud, there's no need to deploy on-premises management appliances or VMs and no danger of outgrowing the management appliance or controller as the deployment grows. Once devices are online and connected to the cloud backend, they can be monitored and troubleshot remotely. A broad variety of analytics data is natively available in the cloud portal so that administrators can track users, applications, bandwidth, and more. Basic troubleshooting actions such as pings, trace routes, and DNS lookups can be performed with the dashboard set of live tools. While the more advanced tools such as packet capture are also available right there in the cloud portal. If more than one layer of Cisco Meraki infrastructure is deployed, such as switching and wireless, the monitoring data will be presented in one unified view so that administrators can get a holistic picture of network health and user behavior across the different layers, or even troubleshoot a problem from the client all the way up to the firewall without ever having to move between interfaces, which can save a great deal of time and make it easier to train new IT staff. There are several important pieces to the Cisco Meraki cloud management architecture. We'll dive into these in a bit more detail, but first let's go over what those pieces are. First, you have the managed device. This is whatever Cisco Meraki managed device exists in the customer's environment. Second, you have the software, which on the hardware products is the device firmware, and for endpoints is the systems manager application itself. Third, you have the backend, the data center infrastructure that makes up the Meraki cloud. Fourth, you have the communication channel between the managed device and the cloud backend, which uses a protocol called mTunnel. Finally, you have the front end interface that the administrator uses to interact with the solution, the Meraki cloud dashboard. The device component is pretty straightforward, but there are a couple of important things to understand about it. First of all, it's important to note that while for most Cisco Meraki products, the device will be Cisco Meraki hardware, for Systems Manager, it is whatever desktop, laptop, 
tablet, phone, or other client is being managed by the MDM or EMM solution. Second, these devices can only be managed through the Meraki Cloud dashboard. They do not have any serial or CLI management interface. Obviously, different hardware devices within each product line will have different capabilities, whether it's higher throughput, more ports, or some other distinction. However, from a management perspective, they're largely the same and managed in much the same way. All Cisco Meraki products run some form of core Meraki operating software, which allows them to connect to the cloud backend and provides the basic operating instructions for the device. For the hardware products, MX, MS, MR, MC, and MV, customers have access to three different versions of firmware. The latest recommended stable version, a release candidate version that is currently in the final stages of being qualified as the new stable release, if such a version exists, there may not always be one for every product. And finally, the latest public beta version, which has undergone extensive internal and limited availability testing, but has not yet been broadly enough deployed and tested to be considered a recommended stable build for all devices. For each version and any incremental revisions in between, customers can view patch notes to determine exactly what bug fixes, new features, known issues, and general improvements are contained in a given software version. While customers and partners can manage their firmware manually, Cisco Meraki devices will also have upgrades scheduled automatically when a new recommended version becomes available. Administrators can configure the window in which these upgrades will occur and will always be notified when an upgrade is scheduled. If they wish to change the time or postpone the upgrade, they can do so. Again, Systems Manager is unique here since it functions as an application, mobile app or otherwise, instead of as device firmware. Every Meraki managed device connects back to a shard of the Meraki cloud backend, which acts as the authoritative source of device software configuration, as well as the host for monitoring and analytics data for that device and all of the devices in the same management organization or customer account. Every shard has its own warm spare backup in the same data center in case of hardware failure and a replicated backup in a different data center in case of data center ISP outage, natural disaster, or other data center wide issue. User traffic is not proxied through the cloud or stored in the cloud. Only management and monitoring traffic passes between the device and its shard. These shards that exist in the backend are actually Cisco UCS hardware. Each shard can host up to 1,000 customers, though some shards may hold as few as a single customer for very large accounts. So how do devices communicate with their shard? They use the mTunnel protocol that I mentioned earlier. This is a lightweight encrypted traffic protocol that was designed specifically for Cisco Meraki devices with the goal of being able to send configuration and monitoring data in real time between cloud and device without consuming large amounts of bandwidth. The first time a device comes online, it'll call home to the master shard, which holds a database of all Meraki devices and which shards they're assigned to. If the device is already assigned to a dashboard organization, it will be redirected to its organization shard, and from that point on, we'll communicate only with that shard unless it is unclaimed from the organization, in which case it will revert to its original state as if it had never connected to the cloud. The front end interface is where all Cisco Meraki configuration and monitoring takes place and is comprised of many different pages with different functions. However, generally speaking, there are four levels at which to view or configure. The first is the organization level. This is effectively the account level and is used when viewing monitoring data or making changes across the customer's entire deployment as seen here. The second level is the network level. Networks are configuration containers within an organization, and they are usually, though not always, aligned to a physical site or location. For instance, if a customer has multiple branches, each branch would be considered a separate dashboard network. Networks can contain multiple device types. So at a site that has more than one Cisco Meraki product line deployed, all of those devices could be in that one site's network in dashboard. The next level, the device level, is used when an administrator wants to gather information or take action on Cisco Meraki devices themselves. This includes things like port configuration, device health monitoring, or device troubleshooting. This is as far down as you go with the MV cameras or the MC phones. With Systems Manager, the device level is the same as the next level. More on that in just a moment. The final level is the client, the end user device. For MX, MS, and MR, this is whatever device the user is using to connect to the network. For Systems Manager, it's whatever device has the management software installed. As I mentioned, 
For systems manager, this is the same as the device level. Client level actions might include changing network or security policies for a single client, taking troubleshooting actions like pinging the client, or determining the applications that a client has been using on the network. Aside from the ease of use inherent in the Meraki solutions, the most crucial competitive advantage is the unified management or full stack approach. Why is full stack management so valuable? There are a couple of key reasons. First, IT organizations, especially in SMB and mid-market, often have teams or individuals who manage more than one function. Management consolidation makes cross-functional management more efficient and less time-consuming. It also reduces the amount of training required for new IT hires as they don't have to learn as many different tools and consoles. In larger organizations where IT groups are more specialized, having a consistent interface across functions makes it easier for the different teams to communicate and work together when their areas of responsibility interact, since they can speak a common management language and have a clear understanding of the tools used by the other teams. At a broader level, some of the most common reasons customers choose a Cisco Meraki solution are the following. Incredibly easy to deploy and manage, allowing smaller customers or mid-sized to large customers with lean IT environments to stay on top of their IT operations. There's built-in user device and application analytics to reduce or remove the need for third-party visibility tools, not only saving money for the customer, but also reducing the number of interfaces they need to use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a massively scalable solution without the need to deploy management appliances or controllers. There are integrated troubleshooting tools, again, reducing reliance on third-party tools while consolidating more functions into a single interface so IT doesn't have to context switch as often. And finally, there's a single pane of glass across wireless, switching, network security, SD-WAN, communications, and security cameras or CCTV. That concludes our overview of the Cisco Meraki Cloud Managed Solution. I hope that now that you've watched this module, you have a clear understanding of the components that make up the Cisco Meraki solution architecture and the value that the solution offers. Thank you for watching.